Chapter Seven of He Can Who Thinks He Can by Orison Sweat Marden. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Responsibility develops power. There is enough latent force in a Maximite torpedo shell to tear a warship to pieces but the amount of force or explosive power in one of these terrific engines of destruction could never be ascertained by any ordinary concussion children could play with it for years pound it roll it about and do all sorts of things with it the shell might be shot through the walls of an ordinary building without arousing its terrible dynamic energy it must be fired from a cannon with terrific force through a foot or so of steel-plate armor before it meets with resistance great enough to evoke its mighty explosive power every man is a stranger to his greatest strength his mightiest power until the test of a great responsibility a critical emergency or a supreme crisis in his life calls it out work on a farm hauling wood working in a tannery storekeeping west point the mexican war doing odd jobs about town were not enough to arouse the sleeping giant in general grant there is no probability that he would ever have been heard of from outside his own little community but for the emergency of the civil war there was a tremendous dynamic force in the man but it required the concussion of the great civil war to ignite it no ordinary occasion touched his slumbering power no ordinary experience could ignite the powder in this giant under common circumstances he would have gone through life a stranger to his own ability just as most of the great dynamite shells now in existence will probably never be exploded because of the lack of a war emergency great enough to explode them farming wood chopping rail splitting surveying storekeeping the state legislature the practice of law not even the united states congress furnished occasions great enough resistance strong enough to ignite the spark of power to explode the dynamic force in abraham lincoln only the responsibility of a nation in imminent peril furnished sufficient concussion to ignite the giant powder in perhaps the greatest man that ever trod the american continent there is no probability that lincoln would have gone down in history as a very great man but for the crisis of the civil war the nation's peril was the responsibility thrust upon him which brought out the last ounce of his reserves his latent power of achievement the resources which he never would have dreamed he possessed but for this emergency some of the greatest men in history never discovered themselves until they lost everything but their pluck and grit or until some great misfortune overtook them and they were driven to desperation to invent a way out of their dilemma giants are made in the stern school of necessity the strong vigorous forceful stalwart men who have pushed civilization upward are the products of self-help they have not been pushed or boosted but they have fought every inch of the way up to their own loaf they are giants because they have been great conquerors of difficulties supreme masters of difficult situations they have acquired the strength of the obstacles which they have overcome many of our giant businessmen never got a glimpse of their real power until some great panic or misfortune swept their property away and knocked the crutches out from under them many men and women never discovered their ability until everything they thought would help them to success had been taken away from them until they had been stripped of everything that they held dear in life our greatest power our highest possibility lies so deep in our natures that it often takes a tremendous emergency a powerful crisis to call it out it is only when we feel that all bridges behind us are burned all retreat cut off and that we have no outside aid to lean upon that we discover our full inherent power as long as we get outside help we never know our own resources how many young men and young women owe their success to some great misfortune which cut off a competence death of a relative the loss of business or home or some other great calamity which threw them on their own resources and compelled them to fight for themselves responsibility is a great power developer where there is responsibility there is growth people who are never thrust into responsible positions never develop their real strength this is one reason why it is so rare to find very strong men and women among those who have spent their lives in subordinate positions in the service of others 
they go through life comparative weaklings because their powers have never been tested or developed by having great responsibility thrust upon them their thinking has been done for them they have simply carried out somebody else's program they have never learned to stand alone to think for themselves to act independently because they have never been obliged to plan for themselves they have never developed the best things in them their power of originality inventiveness initiative independence self-reliance their possible grit and stamina the power to create to make combinations to meet emergencies the power which comes from continuous marshalling of one's forces to meet difficult situations to adjust means to ends that stamina or power which makes one equal to the great crisis in the life of a nation is only developed by years of practical training under great responsibility there is nothing more misleading than the philosophy that if there is anything in a youth it will come out it may come out and it may not it depends largely upon circumstances upon the presence or absence of an ambition arousing a grit awakening environment the greatest ability is not always accompanied by the greatest confidence or the greatest ambition there is at this moment enough power latent in the clerks or ordinary employees in almost any of our business houses to manage them as well as or better than they are being managed today if the opportunity and necessary emergency to call out this dynamic force should arise but how can clerks who remain behind counters measuring cloth selling shoes or hosiery year in and year out ever know what latent power for organization what executive ability or initiative they possess it is true that some of the more ambitious and courageous get out and start for themselves but it does not follow that they are always abler than those who remain behind sometimes the greatest ability is accompanied by great modesty and even timidity then again employees conscious of great ability are often deferred from taking the risk of launching out for themselves because of possible disaster to those depending upon them for daily bread but thrust great responsibility upon a man drive him to desperation and the demand will bring out what there is in him it will call out his initiative his ingenuity his resourcefulness his self-reliance his power to adjust means to ends if there are any elements of leadership in him responsibility will call them out it will test his power to do things i have in mind a young man who developed such amazing ability within six months from the date of a very important promotion that he surprised everybody who knew him even his best friends did not believe that it was in him but the great responsibilities the desperate situation thrust upon him brought out his reserve power and he very quickly showed of what stuff he was made this promotion and a little stock in the concern which had been given him aroused his ambition and called out a mighty power which before he did not dream he possessed tens of thousands of young men and young women today are only waiting for a chance to show themselves waiting for an opportunity to try their wings and when the opportunity the responsibility comes they will be equal to anything that confronts them proprietors of large concerns are often very much exercised by the death of a superintendent or lieutenant who is managed with exceptional ability they are fearful that very disastrous results may follow and believe it will be almost impossible to fill his place but while they are looking around to find a man big enough for the place someone perhaps who was under the former chief attends to his duties temporarily and makes even a better manager than his predecessor young men and young women are rising out of the ranks constantly everywhere who fill these positions oftentimes much better than those who drop out and whose places it was thought almost impossible to fill do not be afraid to pile responsibility upon your employees you will be amazed to see how quickly they will get out from under their load and what unexpected ability they will develop many employers are always looking for people outside of their own establishment to fill important vacancies simply because they cannot see or appreciate a man's ability until he has actually demonstrated it but how can he demonstrate it until he has the chance there are probably today scores of young men in every one of our great business houses who are as capable as the present heads there is no position that cannot be filled as well or better than it's being filled now 
by some one who is still in the ranks and who has not yet been heard from in any distinctive way when some great statesman falls the people often look about to find that there is apparently no one to fill his place but from an unexpected source perhaps from a little out-of-the-way town from the common ranks there comes a man who is equal to the emergency the way to bring out the reserve in a man is to pile responsibility upon him if there is anything in him this will reveal it some of us never quite come to ourselves in fullness and power until driven to desperation it is when we are shipwrecked like robinson crusoe upon an island with nothing but our own brain and hands nothing but resources locked up deep in ourselves that we really come to complete self-discovery a captain never knows what is in his men until they have been tested by a gale at sea which threatens shipwreck that there are great potencies and power possibilities within us which we may never know is proved by the tremendous forces that are aroused in ordinary people in some great crisis or emergency the elevator boy may have never dreamed that there was anything heroic in his nature he may never have thought there was a possibility of his rising in the world to the importance of the men whom he lifted to their offices but the building takes fire and this boy who was seldom noticed by any one who did not show any special signs of ability in a few minutes develops the most heroic qualities he runs his elevator up through the burning floors when choked with smoke the hot cable blistering his hands and rescues a hundred people who but for him might have lost their lives a ship is wrecked at sea and a poor immigrant becomes the hero of the hour commanding a lifeboat and giving orders with calmness authority and force when others have lost their heads a hospital takes fire and the delicate timid girl invalid develops into a heroine almost instantly and does a giant's work in fires and wrecks in great disasters or emergencies of all kinds are enacted deeds of daring and of sublime heroism which before the great test came would have been thought impossible by those who did them no one ever knows just how much dynamic force there is in him until tested by a great emergency or a supreme crisis oftentimes men reach middle life and even later before they discover themselves until some great emergency loss or sorrow has tested their timber they cannot tell how much strain they can stand no emergency great enough to call out their latent power ever before confronted them and they did not themselves realize what they would be equal to until the great crisis confronted them i have known several instances where daughters reared in luxury were suddenly thrown upon their own resources by the death of their parents and the loss of their inherited fortunes they had not been brought up to work did not know how to do anything useful had no trade and no idea how to earn a livelihood and yet all at once they developed marvelous ability for doing things the power was there latent but responsibility had not hitherto been thrust upon them young men suddenly forced into positions of tremendous responsibility by accident or death are often not the same men in six months they have developed strong manly qualities which no one ever dreamed they possessed responsibility has made men of them and it makes women of inexperienced and untried girls who are suddenly thrust into an emergency where they are obliged to conduct a business or support a family many people distrust their initiative because they have not had an opportunity to exercise it the monotonous routine of doing the same work year in and year out does not tend to develop new faculties all the mental powers must be exercised strengthened before we can measure their possibilities i know young men who believe in everybody but themselves they seem to have no doubt about other people accomplishing what they undertake but are always shaky about themselves oh do not put me at the head of this or that somebody else can do it better than i they shrink from responsibility because they lack self-faith the only way to develop power is to resolve early in life never to let an opportunity for doing so go by never shrink from anything which will give you more discipline better training and enlarged experience no matter how distasteful force yourself into it there is nothing like responsibility for developing ability never mind if the position is hard take it and make up your mind that you are going to fill it better than it was ever before filled 
i once heard a man say he regretted more than anything else in his life that he had indulged his natural inclination to decline every position of responsibility offered him he was naturally so shy that any position which attracted attention or gave him the least publicity was distasteful to him his magnificent possibilities remain undeveloped because he has never had that responsibility which calls out one's reserves and develops his latent powers many a time he thought he would change his course and made up his mind never to let another opportunity for self-development go by him unimproved but the habit of delaying until he should be better prepared got such a hold of him that he could not change the result is that although he is a man of recognized power with a superb mind his life has been an extremely quiet one very tame and unimportant compared with what it would have been had he made it a rule to thrust himself into every position of responsibility which would have called out the best in him many people never discover themselves or know their possibilities because they always shrink from responsibility they lease themselves to somebody else and die with their greatest possibilities unreleased undeveloped personally i believe it is the duty of every young person to have an ambition to be independent to be his own master and to resolve that he will not be at somebody else's call all his life come and go at the sounding of a gong or the touch of a bell that he will at least belong to himself that he will be an entire wheel and not a cog that he will be a whole machine although it may be a small one rather than part of someone else's machine the very stretching of the mind toward high ideals the looking forward to the time when we shall be our own masters working along the lines of a resolution a fixed irrevocable determination has a strengthening unifying influence upon all the faculties and you will be a stronger man or woman whatever your future if you keep steadily persistently in your mind your own individual declaration of independence it means freedom it means delivery from restraint from a certain feeling of slavery which attaches to every subordinate position i do not believe that it is possible for anyone to reach the same magnitude of manhood or womanhood to grow to the same statute after giving up the struggle for absolute independence or the hope of going into business or profession or something else all of one's own it is true that not every person has the executive ability or strength of mind the qualities of leadership the moral stamina or the push to conduct a business successfully for himself and stand his ground there are also many instances of young men who have others dependent upon them and who are not in a position to take the risks of going into business for themselves a great many however work for others merely because they do not dare to take the risk of starting on their own responsibility they lack the courage to branch out the fear of possible failure deters them moreover a great many start as boys in certain occupations work up to a fairly good salary and though they may be ambitious to be independent are yet held back by the distrust of their own powers and the advice of others to let well enough alone until the habit of doing the same thing year in and year out becomes so fixed that it is very difficult to wrench themselves out of their environment again a great many people prefer a small certainty to a big uncertainty there is no disposition to hazard no desire to take risks in their makeup they do not want to assume large responsibilities they prefer steady employment and the certainty that every saturday night they will find fixed sums in their pay envelopes to the great risks responsibilities and uncertainties of a business of their own you may not have the ambition the desire or the inclination to take responsibility you may prefer to have an easier life and to let somebody else worry about the payment of notes and debts the hard times the dull seasons and the panics but if you expect to bring out the greatest possibilities in you if growth with the largest possible expansion of your powers is your goal you cannot realize your ambition in the fullest and completest sense while merely trying to carry out somebody else's program and letting him furnish the ideas there must be a sense of complete independence not partial but complete in order to reach the highest growth 
we do not attain our full stature of manhood or womanhood in captivity or in slavery but in freedom in absolute liberty the eagle must be let out of the cage no matter how large or how comfortable before it can exhibit all the powers of an eagle it is the locked-up forces within that lie deep in our natures not those which are on the surface that test our metal it is within everybody's power to call out these hidden forces to be somebody and to do something worth while in the world and the man who does not do it is violating his sacred birthright every man or woman who goes through the world with great continents of undiscovered possibilities locked up within him commits a sin against himself and that which borders on a crime against civilization don't be afraid to trust yourself have faith in your own ability to think along original lines if there is anything in you self-reliance will bring it out whatever you do cultivate a spirit of manly independence in doing it let your work express yourself don't be a mere cog in a machine do your own thinking and carry out your own ideas as far as possible even though working for another End of chapter seven